I challenge you to compete in this simulated investing tournament to win some serious money. I hope you'll join us. I'll be coaching you every step of the way. All right, good morning. TJ on. Good call on win yesterday. Yeah, questions. yeah, we did. Uh, and I have a, um, uh, it's an observation from, from on sports betting, but I think there's uh, an analogy for here for win as well. Um, so this little company, Genius Sports, yesterday was down 25%. The ticker is G-E-N-I. Uh, they reported earnings. Uh, it, it's actually kind of a cool little company. They provide data technology to the, the sports betting industry, uh, not just here in the U.S., but across the world. Uh, but what happened yesterday is a couple things. And, and um, you know, the first was, was, you know, I'm not saying we, we made a call on, on Genius. We, we obviously didn't. But what we were negative on coming in to this earnings season for sports betting, and you can see it in DraftKings, which was also down 5%, was the, the path to profitability. And, and, you know, people hadn't really cared about profitability in this industry, and, and we thought maybe they, they, they should start caring, right? And, and that happened with, uh, with DraftKings, and, and that stock just, you know, keeps going down every day. Uh, and, and I think that was a big part of uh, the, the genius problem is the, the, the revenues were okay, but their, you know, the profitability actually um, uh, took away their positive EBITDA guidance and, and brought it down to you know, basically not earning any money. Um, and, and the takeaway, you know, we, we got asked this question uh, on a draft case, or one of our calls recently just about DraftKings and you know, keeps going down. And you know, when, when do you, you know, what price do you, do you take it off? The, the best idea is short list. And, you know, our view there is you know, on DraftKings is that, you know, there, there's, when you have your valuations based on, you know, multiples of revenues going out, you know, five years, what is the right multiple? Is it, you know, 10, 8, 5, 7, you know, 3? And, and so obviously you can get to a lot more downside uh, if you're just looking at price alone. But so we, we try to focus more on, on catalysts because, as you know, cheap stocks can get cheaper, expensive stocks get more expensive, right? And, you know, I still think the catalysts, uh, while a lot of them have happened, still kind of line up. You know, negative. So uh, we, we are going to stay stay negative on DraftKings, um, despite you know how far it's dropped here. Um, but but the the analogy for win here is you know. We hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content. Hedgeye's Cyber Monday sale is here. This is the best deal we offer any time on our investment research. Since 2008, Hedgeye's 40 plus analyst team has helped investors big and small navigate volatile financial markets. Now, let Hedgeye help you. Our special Cyber Monday sale features steep discounts on all of our industry leading investment research. Explore our range of products that can suit your specific research needs. Don't miss Cyber Monday at Hedgeye.